Good morning guys, the time now is 9 a.m. and I am in Coimbra, Portugal. I am now gonna head to the bus station and then catch a bus to a place called Nazaré, which is apparently a very beautiful beach town. So, let's go! And this right here must be the bus station or is it just a depot? I am not sure actually, but my company is this one right here, Rede Expressos. So yeah, must be here. Let's see. On the bus now, heading to Nazaré. Should be a one and a half hour journey. And yeah, this isn't the most well-organized bus station in the world, but okay. Alright guys, welcome to Nazaré. I have to say this looks like an absolutely stunning town. I just saw it from above because you basically drive in here via this mountain road. And yeah, now I gotta go find my hotel. And it is super windy here, which is of course to be expected because we are right at the Atlantic Ocean. But yeah, where is my hotel? I haven't seen the beach yet, but it's right behind those buildings. And here we have some of the tourist shops. We are very close to the beach now. I can see it over there. All right, guys, I found the hotel. It's actually over there, right at the beach. And yeah, the room wasn't ready yet. But yeah, I could leave my luggage. So now I can go on a little explore. And then later I will show you the room. And yeah, this right here is Nazaré. You can see the boats over there and the beach. This is actually quite a massive beach and I don't know much about this town only that it is very famous for surfing. This right here seems to be some kind of fish market or something. Let's go check that out. So yeah, here we have some people selling fish. Interesting. I am pretty sure that they caught that fish right over there in the Atlantic Ocean. All right, let's walk on the beach for a while. Yeah, this might not be the best of ideas for the video because the wind is super strong. But guys, just look at how massive this beach is. I haven't seen many beaches that are this wide or this long, depending on where you stand. Just look at it from there to there. I mean, it feels like half a kilometer, really massive. Look at those waves, holy moly. guys my feet were in the ocean and yeah it is very cold you could probably swim but not recommendable Alright, we are back on the main promenade now, walking into the town center. And yeah, the center of town is basically a few streets here and there and all the touristy shops right here. Yeah, I mean, this is a tourist town, but it also feels quite local. And there seem to be a lot of people on day trips here because I saw some buses. So I'm really curious to see what it's like in the evening. Probably quite empty at this time of the year. The time now is about 12.30, so there should be more people eating, I guess, or maybe they eat later here. But yeah, the town isn't exactly full of people. You can see here we have some restaurants and then these little streets. 
there really aren't that many streets here because I think that the main pedestrian zone already ends here. Let's see. There is another restaurant here. So yeah, you have this very small pedestrian zone and then a few streets over there. But it smells nice everywhere. Maybe I should go get some food. Now we seem to be on a main street again. Some more modern apartment buildings. And there is a supermarket over there. I think that I might just go get something from the supermarket and eat on the beach. So what did I get? I got a really nice looking fish sandwich and then a cake with a sausage inside and a coke. And the three things together were 4 euros 50. Now I do have a question for my American subscribers. Is this town Nazaré famous in America? Because I am seeing a lot of American tourists and I am hearing a lot of American English. So it is not that famous in Europe. I mean, it's not like nobody has ever heard of Nazaré and that it's some kind of hidden gem. Definitely not. But it's not the most famous beach town in Portugal. There are way more well-known towns in the Algarve down south. So yeah, this town right here is more of a surfing destination. At least that's what I thought. But I am seeing so many American tourists here that I am really wondering whether this might be a well-known destination for Americans. Please let me know down below. Also, it is just about 90 minutes from Lisbon by car or by bus. So yeah, you can easily come here on a day trip or a weekend excursion. And yeah, I want to get up there later because there must be some amazing viewpoints and I can actually see a hiking path. So I think that after checking into my hotel later, I'm gonna do this hike. It does look a bit challenging, but yeah, should be doable. And you know, this is a touristy beach town, but it isn't super crowded and it is still very authentic as well. And also there are no big resorts here. So the hotels here are way smaller than in other beach towns. There might be some bigger hotels up there on the hill, but here in the town center, it's all just small houses, which I definitely like. I have no idea where I'm going, but that is the fun part, just getting lost in a southern European town. And just like most towns in Portugal, this is very hilly, so it's a lot of up and down. But yeah, the weather is just so marvelous. I would not change one single thing about the climate here because it isn't super hot, 23, 24 degrees Celsius, but just endless sunshine. All right, I am now at the starting point of the hike that goes all the way up to the top of the mountain. And I actually wanted to do this hike later after checking into my hotel, but well, I am here now, so I think I'm just gonna do it now. Here we have some nice street art and these steps. Wow, we already have a nice view up here. Have a look. You can see pretty much the entire city. Not bad. Right, I made an executive decision. I'm just gonna ascend now and see what the view is like up there. I mean, as you can see, it is quite a steep ascent, but I think that the viewpoint will be worth it. Wow, look at this. Just here, the views are already amazing, so up there, it will be even better. Yeah, this ascent is quite challenging, mostly because it is so steep, because it isn't that long, but I can see the end already. Wow, a lot more steps coming. Here we have a swing, which is of course an Instagram location. Reminds me a bit of the swing in Bali. Yeah, let's continue. This is a bit harder than I thought. It is just super steep, really. That is the challenge. I think we are almost there. Wow, look at this, guys. The view just gets better and better. 
All right, we have made it to the top. Let's go have a look. There is a restaurant here and then a lady selling stuff. Wow, look at this, guys. We are literally on top of the rock. So I think that there is some kind of castle here. Maybe down there. Let's see what else is up here. Just a regular town square, I guess. Wow, there is a pretty impressive church over there and a market. Okay, so this is a completely different neighborhood of Nazaré here. Let's go explore. So this is actually the sanctuary of Our Lady of Nazareth and it was built in the 14th century. So let's go check it out. So I just went inside, nice church, and apparently there is some kind of holy depiction of the Virgin Mary, but there was a line to see it, and to be honest, I wasn't motivated to stand in line, and I am not religious enough for that, but yeah, nice church. And yeah, this whole area up here is basically one big market. So here we have some paintings, and then up here these wool ponchos, I think is the right word. And these are quite useful here because at night it gets really cold and most of the houses here do not seem to have central heating at least the guest houses where I stayed in the last few days so basically you have to use wool blankets but yeah during the day it is super nice let's walk through here I think that should get us back to the hiking path really cool little alleyway here kind of looks like a Greek island a little bit with the blue and white houses oh i think that this is actually the funicular because it says ascensor let's see yeah i guess that this building is the funicular but it doesn't seem to be running right now would you look at that this view doesn't get old and I think that the sunset here is probably pretty amazing as well. Heading back down to the beach now and I took a bit of a detour. But look at this view. This street goes down all the way. All right guys, quick room tour here in Nazaré, Portugal. This is the place that I got. And yeah, it is pretty basic. We got a double bed, some chairs, a small TV, and then this little piece of furniture there, a closet. But the reason why I got this room is the fact that we are right on the beach, literally a few meters from the beach. And over there we got this balcony where I will definitely sit tonight with a glass of beer or wine. Now the funny thing about this room is that it doesn't have a bathroom and that is actually not something special. That is a common thing here in Portugal. If you stay in a guest house like this then the bathrooms are generally shared. It's down here. Let's have a look. Pretty nice bathroom though. But yeah, in many guest houses in Portugal, the bathrooms are shared between various rooms. So you got one, two, three rooms here. And I think this is another bathroom. Yeah. So, so basically we have one, two bathrooms for, oh, it's actually five rooms. So yeah, not too bad. But that is something to take into account when you are booking a guest house in Portugal. Funny side note guys, I was wondering why there are no pillows on the bed. Well, they are actually in the closet. Now why they don't put those pillows on the bed right away is a question that I have no answer to. But anyways, I am paying 54 euros a night for this room. And I think that that is a pretty sweet deal 
considering that we are right on the beach here with a balcony. I mean, where else do you get this? In Europe, that is definitely hard to find. And yeah, guys, that was it from Nazaré. This is a lovely beach town and definitely worth checking out, even if you don't surf. And yeah, I still have two more days in Portugal, but I haven't really decided where I'm going next. So I actually booked this hotel and a bus from Coimbra to Nazaré yesterday evening, so literally one day in advance. Spontaneous as always. And yeah, I wanna film at least one more video in Portugal, so the adventures will continue. Thanks very much for watching and see you in the next one. Goodbye.